What is up, guys? This is Jeff, a.k.a. Slinger, or 2013 Slinger on Robocraft. Yeah, it's been probably about a year since I made a video, and I've been gaming like crazy, so I figured I'd make another video. This is Robocraft, and this is a T10 robot. Uh, T10 is the highest tier in Robocraft. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go to Robocraft.com or check it out on Steam. It is free to play. So, you're welcome to friend me, 2013 Slinger, in the actual game. Um, <clears throat> here I'm just giving you a quick look. Those are T10 wheels underneath with some T8 blocks reinforcing the skirting underneath against the wheels with a T10 core all the way across the bottom. This is a very hearty, meaty tank. Um, those are T10 SMGs and there are two on the side. I think I want to say that there's six all together, but this is a very long tank um, Very hard to kill so even a guy that doesn't play so well like me Can survive in t10 and do reasonably well um, So with that being said, I'm gonna get quiet you guys can watch the battle and see how the actual tank performs It's funny, at this part, it reminds me of the movie uh, where it goes, You're blocking my view! <laughs> get out of the way! <laughs> I can't get past this guy to make any damage. Um, if, if you see me when I zoom in, I, I'm totally, I cannot do anything here. Um, and this thing is such a boat. You, you totally need to uh, have, a, have a wide berth to get in the canal so to speak. Ooh, I don't know. Did I go there? I guess I did. <clears throat> but yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much getting no damage whatsoever. Here I actually get some contact with these guys and they start dying as soon as I do. Um, but Alright, I'm back quiet again. And here's where you get to see some actual action.
this part's great. I mean, this guy's so far away. I don't know what I was thinking trying to hit him. There was there was nothing going on there. I thought he was going to get closer is what it was, and I'd be able to uh, do some pluck shots and get, get some points that way. But all right, so I'll head around, and uh, I'll fight at the base, and let's, let's wrap this up. All right, so did anyone actually think one-on-one -on -one that thing could stand up to my tank? I hope not. Um, and, you know, not not bragging, but it's just a huge size difference. There's 1,100 cubes on this tank, and it's uh, got a lot of tri-shielding armor, or tri-armor um, on top with a block base. Uh, I do that, the block base with the tri-armor, I do on purpose because uh, you gotta route the damage to somewhere that's not gonna be something you're gonna miss. So I look at it like a pool or a ground where the damage can go to and um, dissipate. So basically I'm taking damage up top and rerouting it to the bottom away with a bunch of blocks uh, so I can keep the necessities of the wheels and the um, the firepower going. But that's just me, everybody does it differently, but this is a Darth Rebellious tank, and um, it's a big boy. Even It even makes me look good. 